Hey Spitz fans, welcome back to another episode of The Penalty Box with Amanda Purdy. Our special guest today is Aaron English, head athletic therapist and strength coach. You guys have seen Aaron behind the bench during all of our games and you're probably wondering, who is this guy? We do not recognize him. So today, we're gonna ask Aaron a couple questions so all of our fans can get to know him. Welcome, thanks for coming, Aaron. No, no problem. Um, so first and foremost, we want to know a little bit about how you came to be the athletic therapist for the Windsor Spitfires. Let's start from the beginning. Um, where did you go to school and how did you end up here? Um, it's, a, it's a long story, but uh, make it short. Uh, started off in the fitness industry, um, worked there for about 10 years, and uh, then I was like, I need to get into the therapy world. Um, so I worked with a bunch of teams like uh, Varsity Sports, University of Toronto and New York University. Um, Canada basketball. I've also worked with the Oshawa Generals and uh, own my own clinic out in Kingsville. It's uh, advanced movement. Sweet. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Basketball Canada. It's yeah. kind of a transition to yeah. hockey. Yeah, so it's, it's a little different. Um, different with the players and whatnot, but it was a pretty uh, pretty cool thing to uh, to be able to work with the national team and uh, all the guys that uh, play in the NBA and all the guys that are coming up that potentially could be in the NBA as well. So that was pretty, that was a pretty wild experience. And then uh, being able to work with such amazing coaches and uh, sports staff there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so tell us about your time with the Maple Leafs as well. That was oh, yeah. baseball. Yes. So we got a, a mix of a couple different sports yes. here. Yes, the, the original Maple Leafs. Okay. Um, so th that's, a, that's a pretty cool, a pretty cool uh, opportunity as well that I got to work with. Um, semi-sport, uh, semi-professional guys, some guys that have retired, um, and then got to work with the uh, four, the uh, late Jack Dominico who just passed away. Um, I know he did a lot for the OHL as well with uh, magazines and whatnot, mm -hmm. but that was a pretty awesome opportunity as well to work with, uh, with the Maple Leafs. Sweet. And uh, let's, let's kind of fast forward. You mentioned that you have your own uh, place now. Yes. Tell us about that. How'd you get started? Was this, was this your goal all along or something that just kind of came to fruition? It, it, it was one of my goals, right? Um, being able to own my own business and being able to help as many people across, um, I, well, right now, Windsor-Essex and um, also working with sports teams as well. So yeah. those are my two two favorite things that I like to do. Busy man, yeah. busy man. So a couple of questions for you. Yep. What does preparation look like for you on a game day? Um, so it, start, it starts for the day before, um, just trying to get every everything ready. So when I do come in the game day, everything's laid out. I have a schedule with guys coming in if they're injured or if they have to do stuff pre-game. Um, so we get that all scheduled out and then also making sure everyone's ready for warm-ups, making sure everyone's eating properly, um, and the guys that aren't playing, making sure that they're getting through a workout before uh, before the game starts. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, what age were you originally interested in hockey? Um, I was four years old okay. when I first started. Uh, Tim bits hockey, that was True Canadian. <laughs> And then, yeah, grew up being a goalie all the way up until 21, so. I did not know that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, any advice to young people who would want to start a career in sports? Um, just obviously make sure you love what you're doing. Don't, uh, don't go out there just to, to do, do something. Just make sure you love what you're doing. And um, also just be passionate and uh, yeah, basically passionate and love what you're doing. Right, yeah. exactly. Um, Aaron, how would the players describe you? Um, I think they would like me, hopefully. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, they think, I think that they uh, think I'm a laid back guy. I'm not too um, on them all the time. Mm -hmm. So making sure that I have that open door policy and making sure that they can come in and kind of talk to me whenever they want, so. So you're yeah. not so much the jokester. I'm not the jokester, but I'm not the super serious guy. So I'm right. in the middle. All right, yeah. someone's got to play the role. Yeah. Um, what was it like stepping into the Windsor Spitfires organization under Mark Packwood? It's... Where where were you when you got that call? Like, did they just call you up on a on a Saturday? How did this conversation go? I was actually <laughs> I was actually on an eight k eight kilometer hike oh, um, in Algonquin oh. Park and. Uh, Woo! 
I got a call from Mark Packward and I was like, in the ha in the middle of it, I was like, man, I gotta call you back. I got four hours to go on this hike. I'm surprised you had service, first of <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs> it was at the top of a cliff, so we're, <laughs> we're good, we're good there. But yeah, it was, it was uh, on an eight kilometer hike and uh, when I got that call, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. All right, so we are gonna ask Aaron 10 rapid fire questions, one word answers, the first thing that comes to your mind sure. to wrap up this series. Cool. Are you ready? Oh yeah. All right, question number one. Do you have a secret talent or party trick? Um, no, I wouldn't say so, no. No secret talents? No, no secret talents. All right. What is the last book you read? Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Yeah. If there was a movie made about your life, who would you want to portray your role? Um, probably Daniel Craig. Sweet. <laughs> Favorite holiday destination? Um, Algonquin Park. Favorite game day meal? Um, chicken parm. How many gold medals do you predict Canada is going to win in Beijing? Say 19. Have you ever ridden your bike down Suicide Hill at Christie Pitts? 100%, yes. Who do you text the most on the Windsor Tip Fires? Um, probably J.R. Grant, the equipment <laughs> manager. <laughs> One thing you're afraid of? Um, growing up. Growing up? And lastly, would you rather fly or have super strength? Oh, super strength for sure. Amazing. <laughs> Fans, that is all we have for today. This was Aaron English, our head athletic therapist and strength coach. Thank you for watching the penalty box with Amanda Purdy. Enjoy the game.